a landscape painter, and I've been painting the landscape for 40 years, so that's a long time, and um, I've been all over. I've seen monumental landscapes. I've gone to the Grand Canyon. I've gone to the um, Hawaii. I've done volcanoes. I've done Iceland. And I had a museum show in 2006. So we found this one big painting called Grand Jaras. It was the French Alps. And they hung that in the museum show. It was at the Michigan Museum. So I did a gallery tour with every, you know, with the people, and they asked you questions, and they said, well, what about this painting? And I looked at it, and it hit me. I had done it in 1976, way before you were born. And this was 2006, so it was 30 years later. And I had this epiphany about what's happened in 30 years to me as a person and to that mountain, and then I started thinking. So I went back to my studio and I was in a transitional period, you know, when you go from one landscape or one topic to another and a lot of things were going on. And I started looking at the original books that I used in the 70s to learn about the Matterhorn and, and the Canadian Rockies and the Alps and all this stuff. And I started thinking about global warming. So I started with the Matterhorns because I said, you know, the Matterhorn is like the most iconic image of a mountain there is. So I'm going to make a lot of images of just the Mount Matterhorn. Mm -hmm. So I started finding glacial geologists, and I found them through the USGS. Mm -hmm. The show just happened by the knowledge I got and by the idea that instead of my going to the landscape, which is what I've always done mm -hmm. for the last 30 or 40 years, I was having them go, and they were providing me with the data. And I titled the paintings in such a way that if someone stops to look, they'll see Grinnell Glacier, 1938, mm -hmm. Grinnell Glacier, 1968, and then I say it's after whoever the photographer was who made the photograph. I first understood the idea of how good a collaboration can be between a scientist and an artist when I started working on volcanoes, and I started doing that in 2000. Scientists are very generous, mm -hmm. and I think it's because they think that artists are so different that they like us, and I've been very, I've had these great relationships with scientists. I think we have a lot in common. I, science is extremely creative. I love understanding how the world works, and that's what scientists do, especially geologists. Landscape and, 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 and the way the earth is built just fascinates me. So scientists, geologists, and you know, there's a great rapport I think that we have with each other, and I treasure it.